نحمد ونسلی ونسلم على سيدنا ومولانا محمد رسوله النبي الأمين المكين الحنين الكريم الرعوف الرحيم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله تبارك وتعالى من قتل نفسا بغير نفس وفساد في الأرض فكأنما قتل الناس جميعا صدق الله مولانا العظيم ريسبكتبل جيستس اونريبل ميديا ريبريزنتيتيفز باي جريس اوف المايتي جاد This is indeed an historic, a significant and a very pleasant opportunity for me to be with you. And we are gathered here today to announce and declare a very significant and historic edict a ruling which is going to be a jurisprudentially authoritative document known as fatwa in classical islamic term and this fatwa is an absolute condemnation of terrorism without any excuse without any pretext without any exceptions without creating any ways of justification this condemnation is in totality in its comprehensiveness in its absoluteness i would say total condemnation of every act of terrorism in every form and every manifestation of radicalism and terrorism which is being committed or which has been committed for the last one or two decades in the name of wrongly in the name of islam i would like to go directly to the subject so that i may give some glimpses of this document which i have written which consists of 600 pages at moment this is in urdu because primarily my concern was to address the people of pakistan india bangladesh and that part of the world where the active military operation is going on against the terrorism and war of terror is being fought for the last more than 10 years but its brief summary is all english summary is already in your hands that is actually the preface of this fatwa and what i am going to discuss today is not included in that summary whatever is included it will be up to you you can read it later but i am going to give the actual material with evidences and arguments of fatwa directly from the document and within next couple of weeks the full english translation is coming up almost more than a half has been translated and in the next few weeks you will be able to read the full text of this fatwa in english and in arabic version i would like to start that 
Islam is a religion of peace and Deen in its totality comprises three grades. The first foundational grade is known as Islam and second higher grade is known as Iman and the third, the highest grade is known as Ihsan. Islam means submission to the will of Lord. Iman means certification and cordial confirmation of that submission so that there is no conflict between your outer self and inner self. And the third stage, Ihsan, is known as the excellence, perfection and beauty of that submission as well as that confirmation. Deen of Islam, the religion of Islam, its totality contains these three parts and nothing is out of this ambit. Everybody who claims to be a Muslim, our younger generations, our scholars and the people who are confused on the subject, they should very clearly know that the world Islam its root word, origin, which it has been derived from, I'm talking of its literal and lexical meanings, is Salama, Salima, Yaslamu, Salaman wa Salamatan. And it means just peace, security, protection, Player tranquility. And the world Islam, as far as its meanings are concerned, it does not possess any fear for mankind or grief or pain or remorse. This is based on the term Salam. And by Salam, the word Salam is used for the house of paradise, Darus Salam. This is one of the beautiful names of Almighty God. And Darus Salam, the Jannah, the paradise is known based on the word Islam, its root Salama, because this is home of peace. and happiness and tranquility in the same way Allah's name is As-Salam because he is transcendent and free of any shortcoming and extinction and cruelty or harshness so the word Islam with its actual lexical meanings denotes beauty, betterment, goodness and negates all forms of mischief and strife. Furthermore, the word Salam is known for an evergreen shady tree, the second meaning of the word Salam and Islam, which is a magnificent and evergreen tree. This is a tree safe from autumn decay and fall. It means now lexically that everything providing shade, benefit, peace and security to the people will inherently conceived as Salam, Salama and Salama meaning thereby Islam. Again this word is used for ladder and staircase. All other